the 2000s and early 2010s, the United States Navy was confident that it would not face a near-peer threat from the likes of China and Russia. As such, it decommissioned the last of the Hazard Perry class frigates. The Navy then implemented its new littoral combat ship program, which were intended to be light, modular, multi-mission oriented ships, which then went over budget and failed to implement many of the new technologies that were promised. As such, Congress scrapped the program, and the Navy decided that they should return to frigates as a cost-effective way to accomplish many of the same missions. Now let's stop here and have a brief discussion of what separates a frigate from a destroyer, since this can be pretty confusing. Um, frigates and destroyers are both small maneuverable ships, however destroyers are usually larger than frigates, which means that they have a larger power source, which allows them to have higher power radars, it allows them to carry more missiles, specifically vertical launch missiles. These vertical launch missiles mean that destroyers are commonly used for anti-aircraft protection in a carrier group. Frigates typically play a different role, they are smaller, lighter, they frequently protect lines of communication, and frequently are home to helicopters, which are armed with depth charges, which are then used for anti-submarine warfare. Now, nations across the world classify their ships differently. China says they have 52 frigates, Taiwan has the second most with 24, and the United States currently has 22 frigates. However, when you look at the classification of destroyers, you'll see that the United States is not that far behind China because it has 68 destroyers compared to China's 33. The Navy began procuring the Constellation class frigates in fiscal year 2020 and wants to procure a total of 20. Congress funded the first frigate in 2020 at a cost of 1.3 billion and a second in fiscal year 2021 at a cost of 1.1 billion. It's always the case that the first destroyer frigate or any ship will cost more than the subsequent ships as engineering and production flaws are hammered out. Four industry teams competed for the program and the Navy announced on April 30th of 2020 that an Italian firm that is partnered with an American firm, which was sold to this Italian firm in 2019, would get the job. There are multiple other nations which currently use this design of ship, which is probably why the United States Navy went with this design, seeing as it's been proven, they know that they will not have to reach for a level of success that they will ultimately not be able to attain, as they've done with the Zumwalt class, as well as with their littoral combat ships, both of which aimed for vast technological improvements that ended up resulting in them going vastly over budget and not being able to actually have the capabilities which they planned on. 